What's going on guys? Fresh here. And I just want to do a quick tips and tricks video on Dead Rising 3 on some of the trials, how to create certain weapons 50 times. And it seems like a lot, but there are certain places you can go to to really make this a lot easier. The first thing you want to do is purchase these cheat sheets. That way you can use any generic item in that category to create certain things. Right now I'm in Ingleton in the gun store. And as you can see, there's the flashbangs you can use to create IEDs. There's the grenades you can use, and then there's also fire extinguishers in there. Once you leave the Ingleton gun store, you'll notice all these barrels on the ground. You can use all of those, and then head over to this gas station, and you got the propane tanks outside you can use. Also inside are gas canisters and more propane tanks, and then around the corner are some nitrogen canisters you can use as well. So the IED is probably the quickest one to do. So you'll get that one pretty easily. Another location is in South Amuda. If you go to the fireworks store, go around this corner and there's a barrel that regens fireworks. You can use those to create IEDs as well. For the pukes of hazard, there's nothing really to it. It's pretty easy. You just need chemicals and blunt objects. For chemicals, I just use the queen bees because they're easiest. There's so many zombies around. And you'll find the blunt objects all over the place, so this one's very easy as well. For the flaming helmet, once again, there's no real tip trick to this. For the helmets, I just use the pylons because you'll find them all over the place and they'll be in a big group. And for chemicals, I just use queen bees. So this one's pretty easy. Once you find a group of pylons, just snag them all up and then kill some zombies, get the bees. And this one's really easy as well. Now for the boom cannon, if you go to South Amuda, go back to the fireworks store, and use that same barrel you use for the IEDs, just snag up a bunch of fireworks from there. Alright, now once you got a handful of those fireworks, go out, head to the left, and you'll go into this warehouse. Alright, then go up the stairs. At the top of this warehouse is a assault rifle crate that just spawns assault rifles. So you'll use these two locations and you can create boom cannons very easily. Alright, back in Ingleton in the gun store, just these crate or these uh these racks, they just reproduce guns as well. And then you can use that with the grenade case and then also the uh, gas station as well. At the northernmost highway, there's also a bunch of gun crates you can use, and then in the truck, there's also a explosive case you can use for boom cannons or IEDs, whichever you need. For Acid Rain, what I did, I got a B, I went back to Ingleton gun store, got a gun, and then just went in the street and went hunting for more bees. Alright, and then once I had a whole thing of bees, I went back to the gun store. And then just created a bunch of acid rains. And then rinsed and repeated, and that was it. Now for the jazz hands, we're in Ingleton again, in the central street. You're gonna go to the gym. And the gym spawns a bunch of MMA gloves and boxing gloves you can use. So there's the ring area, and then there's one towards the back door, and then in the locker room there's a bunch. Alright, so once you got all your, your boxing gloves, head back out to the left, and you'll go back to the gun store. And then once you're in the gun store, you're just going to use the racks again and create a bunch of jazz hands. And for the flaming sword, I just got a bunch of queen bees. We're still in Ingleton, Central Street, right next to the gym. There's the the blade store called Shanks. We'll go inside there, and we're going to use the queen bee and all the blade icons to create the flaming sword. The beer hat's really easy. Once again, for helmets, I'm just going to use the pylons because they always spawn a lot of them next to each other. And then miscellaneous items are all over the place, usually cardboard boxes. 
Down south of Muta, next to the fireworks store, there's the Uno Grande. And this is a useful little area because it has a bunch of items you can use. There's a handful of toys in here as well as boxing gloves in the back. There's also chemicals in the left corner. So you can create jack-in-the-box, flaming swords, and then you can stockpile some boxing gloves for later. And then once you're done in this area, if you go out this door and then head straight across this parking lot into the recycling area. The recycling warehouse has a lot of good items you can use as well. It has a couple toys in here that you can use. And then there's also a corner that has the two ingredients to make the beer hat. And then in the back there's a mechanical that you can use with your boxing gloves to make the dragon punch. All right, now for the Dragon Punch, we're gonna go to Ingleton. We're gonna go back to the gym. We're gonna collect all the boxing gloves and MMA gloves. And then we're gonna go out the back and go into the top left neighborhood. There's a couple houses up here that have a bunch of mechanical items in the backyard. All right, so we're in the top left neighborhood. Now in the backyard, we're gonna find a chainsaw. that we're gonna head to the next yard and there's a leaf blower Hell yeah. and then the third house has a leaf blower in the front yard all right after that we're gonna continue heading down and we're gonna go into this garage right here for another item. Yes. All right, after that, we're gonna keep going, head towards the diamond panty. Right next to it is the used car lot. Inside the used car lot, we got a motorcycle engine and another pair of gloves we can use. Alright, after that, we're gonna hop this fence and head into the Big Buck Hardware. And it has four more items we can use. Also in here, there's a bunch of blade items and explosives, so if you need those items, they're there as well. And this is the route we took. Now if you're having trouble finding toy items for the Jack in the Box, if you go to South Amuta at the bus station, inside there's a couple items, cardboard, cutout, a pogo stick, a beach ball you can use. If you leave the bus depot and head to the left, there's a window that has a couple paintings in it that you can use for Jack in the Box. Another good location is where you fight the one psycho and still in South Amuta in the middle by the, the wreck trains. If you head into Annie's, inside you'll find a handful of genetically engineered pink cucumbers you can use and there's also a toy pony I believe. Then in Central City by the North Safe House is the, the old toy box has a bunch of stuff in the window and then right next door there's a painting shop that has a couple paintings in there that you can use. So these are the areas that I used for my challenges. I hope they helped and uh, thanks for watching. Catch y'all later. Peace!